This is the happiest day for you and Mia because you have finally finished your final exam. Just one project and you will graduate from college. You review almost every day for this final exam. So now that it's over, you want to unwind. So where are we going? You ask while clinging on your best friend arms. Mm, what if we're going to eat tikboki and fish cake first before roaming around to the mall? Maya replied while wiggling her brows. Okay, cool, since I'm starving, you added as you pulled her going to the gate of the university. Then suddenly the car behind you honked that made you to flinch and screamed. Maya, get in, Dora said while looking out the window. Aish, your brother is here again ruining our plans? In so many days, why didn't he come now? You murmured. I'm sorry, Misty. I need to go. You just nod because you understand Maya. She's afraid of her brother since his brother is none other than the Maki King. But you kept that secret at the university. Only you know about that for Maya's safety. Maya kiss your cheek and get into the car as you saw Jungkook busy on his phone. You said and place your hand in your pocket as you start walking going to the parking lot where your car is. And so you notice that the car where Maya is is following you, but you just ignore it. I thought you were hungry, then get in. You stop and look at the car after hearing Jungkook's voice. Of course, you recognize his voice since you always saw him and heard him talking. You and Mia were friends since first year college. You're always at her house, especially if there are projects and reviews, because generally, Jungkook didn't allow her to study outside. Mia said you're starving, then get in. I have 32, he added. And why would you do that? You ask. Technically speaking, you're not afraid of him even though he is a mafia. Instead, he is annoying to you because you feel sorry for your best friend. So she can't do what she wants since her brother is so overprotective. No, thank you, you added and about to walk again. But Mia held your hand and bowed. Testy, I don't want to go home yet. You just sigh, because you felt sorry for her, so you have no other choice but to go with them. You would have sat next to Maya, but Doro told you to sit next to Junko. In fairness, your Momo brother treat us in five-star restaurants, you whisper. You called him Momo because he's scary. Yeah, he might hear you, Mia responds. YN, you can order anything you want. You to Mia, Jungkook said. You and Mia agree to order a lobster. When looking at the menu, Mia kick your foot under the table. So, you look at her as he winks at you and points to wine. Excuse me, Sir Jungkook. What did you call me? He said and borrowed his brows. I said, Sir Jungkook, why are you suddenly calling me sir? Then fine, excuse me Jungkook, can you drink? You know, we are so stressed lately because of our final exam. So to freshen our minds, can we drink even just a wine? Have you tasted liquor before? No, that's why we want to taste it. Come on, Opa. If we get drunk, at least you're here. No, Mia. Jungkook's words were cut when someone covered his mouth with a finger as he saw you doing that. Even Mia was surprised by what you did. Mr. Jun, Mia is not a baby anymore. Aside from that, she is at the right age. Okay. I understand that you are being protective of her because you are the one standing as his guardian. But you should know that you're also choking on her. 
I'm just doing that. But again, you cut his words after you placed your fingers on his mouth and said, Shh, I'm not done yet. What do you want to happen in Mia's life? You will be like her for the rest of her life? What if you get married? What happened to her? He removed your hand and said, So, what do you want me to do? Can you allow us to drink, please? Are you sure you two can handle alcohol? Of course! To stop you from scolding him, Jungkook himself ordered wine for you, which made you happy. That's why Mia loves you so much because you're the only one made Jungkook afraid of. After one hour, you finished a bottle of wine. You and Mia also started making noise because you two already drank. So Jungkook decided to go home. He called Doro to watch at you, but he will take Mia to the car first. Don't touch her, understand? Yes, boss. After a few minutes, he came back as he carried you. Yeah, where are you taking me? On our honeymoon? Shut up. Look at you. You said you can handle alcohol as he pinched your cheek. While you were in the car, you and Mia were laughing and your topic was Jungkook. Do you think he hit us? I don't know. But don't worry. I will break his neck if he gets angry with us. As Jungkook throw you a death glare. Look, look! He's so scary! Ah, uh, I am not scared of him. Can the both of you please just shut up? Next time, I won't let you drink. Especially you, YN. Then don't. I don't care. Bestie. Can you just forgive him? No. Remember? He started this. It doesn't mean I'm his fiance and he already owns me. I never said that. Actually, you're Jungkook's fiancé, but four days ago, the two of you had a fight, and you two start ignoring at each other. You got peace of his behavior because he's so overprotective and get jealous quickly, even though without a valid reason. While Jungkook, his pride and ego exist since he is a king, but lately, he surrendered and accepted that he is defeated. Opa! This is your fault! If Swain didn't marry you, I will run away and kill myself. Don't try to do that, Wayan. I would rather marry Jack than you if you continue being like this. Wait! Bestie? You don't love my brother anymore? What? What are you talking about? Of course I love that jerk. Really? Then I will challenge you. Kiss him. Kiss? And because you are drunk, you have a lot of courage to kiss him. Get ready, jerk. I will kiss you until you can't breathe. You smirk and lick your lips as you hold his collar and pull it closer to you. You slowly brought your lips to his and you were about to kiss him. Suddenly, Jungkook screamed after you threw up on his face. Later on, Mia also threw up on the car window. Arurui. Boss, are you okay? I wouldn't die from the bullet. I'm going to die with a headache because of this too. But boss, eventually it's your fault too. Because you fell in love with a stubborn and clever girl. You woke up with a headache. 
and can't remember anything. My head, you complained while tapping your forehead. Finally, you woke up, Jungkook said. Why do I hear that jerk's voice? Alright, I'm a jerk person. I'm sorry if your fiancé is a jerk. You open your eyes and start scanning as you found out that you are in Jungkook's room. You look around again until your eyes landed on your fiancé sitting on the couch while staring at you intently. Yeah, Mafia, why I'm here in your room? What did you do to me? As you get up and sat on the bed. Later on, you see that you are wearing his clothes. Who changed my clothes? The Mafia King stood up from his seat and slowly approached you. I think I should be the one to ask you that. What did you do to me last night? What do you mean? Don't tell me you don't remember anything after what you did to me last night and after all the things we done? Just tell me what I did. Since you don't remember anything, I just tell you. You just kiss me. And then after that, I found out you were wild when drunk. I can't forget what we did last night. YN, best honeymoon ever, he said with licking his lips. You just swallowed your saliva and slowly got up from the bed in embarrassment and about to run. But unfortunately, he automatically blocked your way. Where are you going? You told me you went to do it again about what we did last night. When you walk up, I really did that. Mm -hmm. After that, you beg on me to make it up with you because, according to you, you miss me. And since I miss you too and I love you so much, of course I agree. But why I don't remember anything? Because you're drunk. Shut up. This is embarrassing. You secretly laugh while you are not looking at him as he hugs you. I'm sorry if you feel suffocated because of my behavior. I can promise but I will try my very best to change myself when it comes to you. Not only on me, even me also. Alright, I definitely do that. Are we okay now? You are not mad at me anymore? Mm. But did I really do everything you've said? Ah, uh, actually, but you go words at when you heard Mia's voice complaining because her head was hurting. He lifted you and lay on the bed. Just rest her. I'll tell the chef to make a hangover soup. I'll be right back. I'll go see my sister first. Mm. He kisses your forehead and left his room. You have no idea that when Jungkook came out of his room, he was jumping for joy. That's the right way to use mindset. Mindset Y and mindset. Even a clever Y and can still be tricked by the Mafia King. The end. Thank you for watching. Cool is good. Bye.